Hello and welcome to video number three. Let's talk about highly searched keyword terms and how you can figure out what your main keyword is going to be, what your sub keywords are going to be. So one mistake that we see that many YouTubers make is simply making their own title and description. I mean, it's natural, right? But instead of deciding what you think will work, why not use what is already working and do some simple keyword research that's not going to take a lot of time and this way you'll be able to have the right information that will help you rank on the right keywords. Now the big question is, well, how do I find these keywords? So the best way to find highly searched keyword terms is to look at the Google suggested keywords. And they are suggested for one reason, because they are used a lot. So let me show you how to find them and what they look like. Okay, so from analyzing the previous videos with the top three videos to kind of get an idea of what the titles were, what the descriptions were, if we look at the three and we refer back to this, the question is, what are the commonalities between the titles? Obviously the keyword instant pot, but we also noticed that the top one and the third one, they all have the keyword beginners. So beginners in instant pot, instant pot for beginners. All right. So if we go back up here and we go to youtube.com and we type in instant pot, what do we get? So when you have a drop down like this, this is what we call the suggested keywords. And you'll see this in amazon.com. You'll see this in google.com and other major search engines. And what this is, is high demand and highly searched keyword terms. So in other words, if a lot of people are searching for these keywords, then they'll show up in the drop down menu. Right. So instant pot chicken happens to be a very highly searched term and take a look at this. This one is related to instant pot chicken. So that means there's a lot of people searching for instant pot chicken. And that might be why this second video is ranked so high. Let's scroll down and take a look. So as we're scrolling down, I also want you to kind of keep an eye on the thumbnails because the thumbnails are key. So we got top six easiest things to cook in your instant pot. And I'll say as a instant pot user, I really didn't know what recipes were out there that would fit the instant pot because the instant pot, the way it cooks is it pressurizes the food and you need a little bit of liquid inside it to pressurize. So what I was doing is I was looking for recipes that were specifically made for the instant pot. So a lot of these people that are coming here, they don't know. They're just looking for recipes. So the 30 instant pot recipes gives people an idea. Oh, okay. I've got 30 recipes that I can pick and choose from. So if you scroll down, it says instant pot ultra. All right. So if we go back here, so Instant Pot Chicken is definitely a top one. Instant Pot Spaghetti, how to use an Instant Pot. Instant Pot Cheesecake, Yogurt, Pho, Beef, Stew, Whole Chicken, Rice, and Instant Pot Pot Roast. So these are highly searched keywords. Now let's hop over to Google and see what we get. Do we get the same thing? Do we get something different? So if you go to Google and you type in the same thing, instant pot, we can see that we've got instant pot recipes, instant pot chicken. So notice that the chicken and the roast beef or the pot roast seem to appear both in Google and in YouTube. So whenever you see that, that's a good sign because you got to understand people searching in YouTube are very different than people searching in Google. They don't show the exact same thing. But if they do, that gives you an idea that if you rank on that term, that you will be able to get traffic from Google and YouTube. Okay, so let's go back here. 
So Instant Pot's Chicken. So let's just do a search and see what we get. So another place to find the Google suggested keyword terms is to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So there we go. So Instant Pot Recipe. Now these are specifics, all right? These are searches related to Instant Pot. So people are looking to buy Instant Pot Amazon. So let's just type in Instant Pot Chicken and see what else we get. So if you notice when we type Instant Pot Chicken, it gives you a more detailed view of the other keywords that are related. So for example, instant pot chicken recipes, chicken rice, chicken noodle soup, chicken thighs, chicken bog, chicken breast recipes, chicken wings, and chicken and dumplings. So let's go over here and see what we get. So instant pot chicken recipe, wings, noodle, barani, thighs. So a lot of these are actually appearing that are the same. Okay, so moving on here, we've got Instant Pot Chicken. Now let's take a look at what we have here. So what I would do is I would do the same thing, the competitive research. Now, if you notice here, the Six Sisters stuff, it's a different video, but it's a similar video. Now this video is different. This lady is the same. And that's another thing. So if you rank high on the main keyword, then you could potentially rank on the other smaller keywords as well. So that gives you an idea that of what content to create and what keywords to target. So we could potentially make it about instant pot chicken. And what I would do is go back here. Let's say we want to title it the instant pot chicken. What I would do is I would scroll here and take a look at questions people are asking. So how do I cook chicken and potatoes in Instant Pot? How long does it take to cook chicken pot, Instant Pot? We scroll down and what I would do is grab these keywords. So I would grab these keywords. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a main keyword and then we want to have sub keywords. So the main keyword here would be instant pot chicken. And then the other ones would be instant pot chicken and potatoes and all, all the rest here. So having these in hand will give you a better idea on how to go about creating your titles and your descriptions so that you can target specific keywords and that you're not like any other YouTuber who is simply making up titles and descriptions just out of your head. So this way you can be strategic and rank effectively.